Next up, we have a new feature called expose. What is expose? Well, we've made it so wonderful to use multiple apps at once that people do, right? The operating system's so bulletproof that if an app crashes, it doesn't crash the system. And we have such beautiful uh, multitasking that you can have, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten apps open at once. I'm sure most of you do. So you've got Photoshop open and you're working on a bunch of Photoshop images. You've got mail open. You've got your browser open. You've got your address book open. And what do you end up with? This. <laughs> Right? We've all been there. We all are there several times a day. And you want to find that one window you're looking for. How do you do it? All you want is to bring the one window you want to the front. So you move everything out of the way. You're, like a, you're on a scavenger hunt. Well, we figured out how to solve this in a wonderful way. Let me show you now. I'm going to start off by opening a lot of uh, applications. And I'm just going to run a little Apple script to do that for me. It's going to open mail. <laughs> it's opening some Photoshop documents here. A few browser windows. All right. So I think that's, that's probably about done. We've got a lot of stuff open here. And uh, you know, a lot of Photoshop windows, Photoshop palettes. How do I find something? Well, here's how we do it. You ready? Oh, just like this. Woo. Let me uh, let me show you this in slow mo. And as you notice. As I mouse around here, it shows me exactly what the windows are. Boom, right? Boom, 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 boom. Now, let's say I just want to see my Photoshop windows or one application's windows. Well, I select that application and I do this. Again, just the one app's windows. Notice the palettes fade away. The other apps highlight in the, uh, dim out in the background. Or I can go see all of them just like this. It's very, very nice. Let me show you this again in slow-mo here. <laughs> and again, I can pick one. And when I do, they all just come back. Right? So boom, boom. Now, we've gone even further. How do you trigger this? Well, you can assign any key on your keyboard to do it. right? Or uh, if you have a two-button mouse, you can assign the second button of the mouse. Or you can assign screen corners. So I've got my screen corner set up where this one just does all these. Boom. I just go, whew, just like a gesture. Boom. And this one is all the app, all the windows from the app that isn't currently active. Isn't that nice? Now, let me show you one other cool thing. I'm going to bring mail to the front here. And I want to mail some. I'm in the middle of composing something to somebody. And I say, check this out. And oh, you know, the file I want to send to them is on the desktop. What am I going to do? Do I want to close all these windows and have to reopen them? No. Expose lets me handle that too. It lets me uh, assign another button to just clear all the windows off the desktop. Let's do that in slow-mo here. Oops. Didn't want that. There we go. They just fly off to the nearest corner. right? And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to grab this. And I just drag a little bit and bring it up there and pop it in. Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So this is Exposé. And let me quit all these apps. We think you're going to love it. So again, you can see your windows from just one app, all of your windows. Now, how does this do this? It's using Quartz Extreme, the amazing graphics built into Mac OS X to do all of this so smoothly, so simply, with a great UI on top of it that lets you instantly see all of your windows, instantly see just one app's windows, instantly clear all your windows to see your desktop, and you can activate it by using either screen corners or your keyboard or mouse. And to set up the activation, 
We have a special preference here that lets you set it up super easy. It's really, really nice, and we think Exposé is going to save us all a whole lot of time.